Kia ora, Hilary Bryan here again from The Training Practice. This is our fourth and last little short video about the imposter syndrome and what you can do about it. It sounds very rational, but actually find some evidence. Find the real evidence that what you're thinking is actually the case. And, and certainly talking to someone and getting them to coach you through a situation, I think is incredibly helpful because that's all part of developing that all important self-awareness. What is actually at the bottom of your imposter syndrome? Okay, second one is choose to coach yourself over criticizing yourself. So when that thought goes through your head, I'm hopeless, I shouldn't have ever got this job, I don't know what I'm doing, is think, hang on a minute, coach, 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 not critic, critic, critic. Also remember, you can't control everything, right? And if you're looking for that control and that certainty the whole time, it's exhausting, let it go. The last thing, and it might sound a bit strange to say, is there an upside is there an upside to feeling occasionally that sense of, I don't know what I'm doing, what's going on? Because rather than thinking of confidence on the one side and then insecurity on the other, and as a continuum, maybe it's more of a circle. Maybe we need occasionally to feel that sense of, what's going on, what should I do next? Because that then leads you to the question, well, what do I need to learn? Who do I need to talk to? Who should I ask for help? Good luck. I hope you manage to conquer your imposter syndrome.